Hello, it's me here once again. Before watching the video, be sure to like, comment, favorite, subscribe, comment down below if you wish, share it with your friends. But anyway, let's get into this. Nick Mason, in a recent interview, has said he's given up on ever getting another Pink Floyd reunion call with the Gilmore's Water feud. And it kind of got me thinking, why the hell was Nick Mason ever waiting around for another Pink Floyd reunion call? Because... I thought after Rick Wright died, I thought David Gilmore made it pretty much very clear he was never getting the band back together without Rick Wright. You could always re probably replace Roger Waters, which they've done. You could probably have even replaced Nick Mason. But you, to me as a Pink Floyd fan, I don't think you could have ever really truthfully replaced Rick Wright. So that's the first thing. Second thing is really this Gilmore Waters feud that's gone on for years and people are like, oh, will it ever end? It's kind of like the Mustaine Megadeth feud. It's something that I don't think will ever end. I think it's something that these guys are so staunch in their position that I don't think they'd ever budge. Uh, Gilmore strikes me more of a kind of laid back kind of person and Waters just strikes me a lot more as a radical at this juncture in life and it's more about his political stuff which it it kinda has been through the years with Waters but I feel in the last number of years it's just gotten almost damn militant about it but anyway also on to this Nick Mason also doing a side project as Pink Floyd whatever it is I've seen videos of it and quite honestly I haven't been really impressed with it I think it's kind of one of those things where if you like it, more power to you. It's just something that I'm like, hey, it's kind of like Zeppelin in a way. They had their time. They had their space. I think Live 8 was a great way to Pink Floyd go out on. The members were happy. They are on stage. They were cheerful. It was a great night. Fans got to hear their music. It, it worked. And... Looking at the whole thing afterwards and seeing that I really believe once Rick D Wright died that the idea of the band ever getting back together really died. So it kind of like that, like why was Nick Mason ever thinking the band would get back together? Gilmore, I, I think the most he could get probably is a Waters and Gilmore together, a Mason and Gilmore together, like a one-off thing, just like, hey... But to sit there and say, okay, yeah, we play a show reunion, maybe even a tour, I, I could never see that. Gilmore, even this last one thing, it really felt like there's just no interest in it. And I know he said to carry that burden again, like just, eh, the music of Pink Floyd, the legacy, I think their legacy right now is pretty good. It's kind of one of those where you don't want to replace all the members and then go around like, okay, what's our legacy? And a lot of bands have done it. A lot of bands have tarnished their legacy. But anyway, this is my thoughts and opinions on it. I'm not really that surprised. Like, I don't get, kind of don't get what took Nick Mason so long to figure it out. That Pink Floyd is never getting back together. Like, this feud will never die. It's kind of like the Megadeth Mustaine thing, it'll just, or the Metallica Mustaine thing, it'll just go on forever. But anyway, that's my thoughts and opinions. Once again, be sure to like, comment, favorite, subscribe down below. I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. But this is Amir once again. Peace.